The studio that owns the Matrix IP, Warner Brothers, wants the Matrix 5, and they will do this movie with or without the creators, the Wachowskis. They tried to do it in 2017, but Lana Wachowski ended up coming back to give us Resurrections. She said that she has no plans to return for Matrix 5. She did not write the Resurrections movie to be the start of a new trilogy, but to be a standalone story. In The Matrix Resurrections, there's a scene between Thomas Anderson, the game developer, the creator of the Matrix franchise, and he's told that he has to make a Matrix 4, and that the studio, Warner Brothers, want him to do it, and if he doesn't, they will do it with or without him. But if Lana Wachowski does return, and or her sister Lily, this is everything we know about Lana Wachowski's Matrix 5. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm your host The Viking. make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss a Matrix video that drops every single day on the channel. But Laura Wachowski doesn't seem to have any interest to return for Matrix 5, but then again after the original trilogy ended, both of the Wachowskis said something very similar, but... Lana ended up coming back to do Resurrections. Now we've talked about this before on the channel where the Wachowskis don't want to come back but if they don't the piece of art that they created is owned by Warner Brothers and they will make a fifth and sixth movie with or without them. They were going to make a fourth movie with or without them but then Lana returned. Lily did not. So will we have the Wachowskis in an endless cycle where they have to come back time and time again to do a Matrix movie because Warner Brothers is going to benefit off their art. Warner Brothers don't care for the Matrix lore, they don't care for the idea that manifested in the Wachowskis. They just want to make money, of course. And Lana Wachowski has said that Warner Brothers came to her house for years offering huge sums of money but she declined time after time. And the reason she only came back was because of a family tragedy. She lost her parents and a close friend. And this story, this new story, manifested in her mind. And that's why she wanted to bring Neo and Trinity back. Lily did not want to come back. She's on a different journey, which you have to respect. So, even though The Matrix Resurrections didn't make waves at the box office... Warner Brothers still want to make a fifth movie, maybe even spin-offs, prequels and series. And the reason being is that The Matrix is a huge IP, it's a huge money maker. And Warner Brothers aren't just concerned with box office numbers anymore, they also have a streaming service called HBO Max. We've heard that a Harry Potter series is in development there. We've heard that a Blade Runner series is in development as well. There's going to be DC projects coming to HBO Max too. So, Matrix is a huge IP. And if it can't make waves at the box office anymore, it sure can on streaming services like HBO Max. So I can say with certainty that we will get another entry into the Matrix franchise, either a theatrical Matrix 5 or a spin-off series or prequel for HBO Max. But will the Wachowskis return? I would love Lana and Lee to return. They created this unbelievable creation that not only predicted the next 20 years of society back in 1999, but I think now in 2021 has done something even more amazing by holding a mirror up to society and Hollywood, showing them what they've done the last 20 years and what they're in for the next 20 or 40 or 60 years, who knows. But if Lana Wachowski did get the urge to return for a Matrix 5, what would it look like? Back in 2003, their trilogy was finished. They had no plans to return, but Lana did. So things could change again. Now even though Matrix Resurrections hasn't made huge money at the box office, Warner Brothers are still very interested in exploring what the Wachowskis can do. But if you go back to 2017, 
they were ready to reboot The Matrix with Michael B. Jordan set to star and the Wachowskis were not involved. Of course, Warner Brothers would have liked them to be. They probably tried, but the Wachowskis didn't want to. But in 2019, it was confirmed that Matrix Resurrections was coming directed by Lana Wachowski. So we'll have to see how things go and things will obviously change. But with or without the Wachowskis, Warner Brothers, the studio, will make a Matrix 5 or more IPs in this franchise. But if they did return, if Lana did return, Keanu Reeves as Neo, Carrie Ann Moss as Trinity, here is everything that we know about Matrix 5. This comes from Screen Rant. What are the chances of the Matrix 5 happening now? The Matrix Resurrections has finally arrived. Released in 1999, The Matrix was a perfect cinematic representation of pre-millennium fear from the Wachowski sisters and left an impression upon the sci-fi and action genres that is yet to fade. Characters, quotes, costumes and concepts have all entered the cultural consciousness and though 2003's double tap of sequels The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions failed to make the same impression, the trilogy remains a landmark piece of film history. Which makes the 18 year gap before The Matrix Resurrections all the more curious. Despite unending rumours of a continuation or reboot, the Wachowskis resisted a fourth Matrix movie, but that inevitable announcement finally came in 2019. The Matrix Resurrections has now been unleashed upon the world, picking up 60 years after the original trilogy's ending. A new threat has emerged. Neo and Trinity have been brought back, and there's a major sense of deja vu as the events of the 1999 film repeat themselves. While avoiding a cliffhanger, the Matrix Resurrections ending is open-ended to a degree. Does this mean The Matrix 5 is on the horizon? And what might happen in a potential sequel? Here are all The Matrix 5 details we know so far. Will The Matrix 5 happen? Early signs regarding The Matrix 5's chances are mixed, but we're being honest, leaning toward the negative. Heading straight to source, Lana Wachowski replied with a firm no when asked about The Matrix Resurrections, instigating a whole new trilogy, which tells us there are no firm plans in her mind, at least for Matrix 5. Of course, that doesn't mean a sequel won't happen. The Wachowskis spent years turning Warner Brothers down before one of them eventually relented. So no one can definitely rule out a Matrix 5 further down the line. Also, Lana shot down rumours of a whole new trilogy not a single follow-up to The Matrix Resurrections. As you'd expect, Warner Brothers are talking more positively about The Matrix 5. According to Anne Cernoff, Warner Media CEO, they're ready with the green stamp of approval anytime Lana Wachowski wants to plug into The Matrix. So whether or not The Matrix 5 happens is clearly dependent on getting the director on board. Though, Cernoff would obviously prefer Lana behind the wheel. The Matrix Resurrections has John and Groff dropped the line. Warner Brothers has decided to make a sequel. They informed me they're going to do it with or without us. Maybe that's just a gag making full use of creative license. The line could be. However, it could be a hint towards Warner Brothers pushing ahead with The Matrix 5 regardless. The Matrix 5. How Resurrections sets up another sequel. The Matrix Resurrections concludes with Neo and Trinity overcoming Neil Patrick Harris as the analyst, the villain behind the new Matrix and the program responsible for this new war. Come the final scene, the analyst bears little threat, but The Matrix Resurrections leaves other treads dangling. For starters, Neo and Trinity declare their intention to reshape The Matrix into a more wholesome place. A future that carries storyline potential in itself. Additionally, it's clear the analyst is answering to a higher machine power, referred to as the suits. And the Matrix Resurrections also hints human blue pills might have sided with the enemy, just as some machines turned good. 
leaving a potential antagonist for the Matrix 5. The most natural story continuation, however, would involve John Groff's Agent Smith. After helping out Neo and Trinity against the Analyst, a mutual enemy, Smith declares their uneasy alliance over and slinks off into the night. A roaming Smith isn't exactly conducive to a peaceful matrix, and his new machines could form part of a new story for the Matrix 5. The Matrix 5 cast, who will return after Resurrections. After a bloodless finale, one would imagine most members of the Matrix Resurrections cast would return for any future The Matrix 5. The tandem of Neo and Trinity is now so important to the franchise, making Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss essential inclusions. And as mentioned above, John Groff Smith would be the logical villain. The humans of Io, Jessica Henwick's Bugs, Yaya abdul the II's Morpheus, Jada Pinkett Smith as Niobe, Priyanka Chopra, Jonas as Sati, would all be expected, and there's much more mileage in Neil Patrick Harris as the analyst, though not as a main antagonist. Given his odd role in the Matrix of Directions, perhaps don't expect Lambert Wilson's Merovingian back. The Matrix 5 release date prediction. Pinning a release date to the Matrix 5 is tricky, given the lack of any real indication the film is happening. From announcement to premiere, the Matrix Resurrection took a little over two years to produce, which means the Matrix 5 wouldn't arrive until 2024 at the very earliest, even if production begins immediately. Of course, that's without taking into account time spent convincing Lana Wachowski to make the film. So there we have it, that's the potential for Matrix 5, so much that they could explore in sequels, spin-offs, prequels, or even animated series. I would love to see more of the civil war between the machines, I would love to see more of the Merovingian. In this article it says, don't expect to see the Merovingian return, I disagree. I think if Matrix 5 did happen, he would return. He resents Neo, because Neo is the reason for the truce, because if you remember in the old Matrixes, he had wealth, he had status, the Merovingian did. And now it's all gone because of the purge. And he survived purge after purge. But this time he has absolutely nothing. He's in exile. But I loved his two minute rant where he talks about we had conversation. We had films. You know, it felt like a two minute rant at today's society. At maybe the younger generation. He talks about texty, texty, texty on their phones. So I thought that scene, even though it was short, was brilliant. And the actor is fantastic in the role and the character is fantastic. So it will be a shame not to bring that character back into this world. So I bet you he could. He resents Neo. I think he will be a very good mini villain, side villain for Neo or Trinity in 5 or 6. So I see him returning big time. We also have to explore more of who the analyst works for, which is the suits. Is the suits more machines or is it humans? Now my prediction and theory is, even though we had a civil war between the machines, I think we'll have a civil war between the humans as well in the real world and even in the Matrix. Because as the analyst says, he says, I've made the perfect Matrix. Nobody wants to leave. Even though Neo and Trinity are powerful again, and at the end they kind of stop the analyst in a sense, he's not worried because... He thinks that they can't convince people in the Matrix to awaken and leave because it's so perfect. Everything is there for them. You know, their social media, all that kind of stuff. So I would love to see who the suits are. And I definitely think we're going to have a civil war between the humans because there will be people inside the Matrix who know that Neo and Trinity is trying to stop it or awaken people. And I think they'll want to fight back against them. So we could have machines and humans versus machines and humans. Because we already got to see in IO that the machines are working with the humans beautifully. So who's to say that the machines are not being helped by humans as well? So we could definitely have a civil war. Not only between the machines, but also the humans. In and outside of the Matrix, which would be so fascinating. And even though there was a purge which killed off Sati's parents and killed off Oracle and the Architect, I do wonder if the Oracle and Architect did survive, or maybe the Architect is being held prisoner by the suits. I think those are huge potential storylines as well, because the Architect 
and Oracle are the mother and father of the Matrix, so it would be very hard to kill them off outright. Maybe they're being held as prisoners. That's definitely something to explore even further. Yes, the action in The Matrix Resurrections wasn't groundbreaking or mind-blowing like the original trilogy in terms of the Kung Fu fighting and the slow-mo and the 360 cam, but The Matrix Resurrections wasn't really about that whatsoever, it wasn't trying to sell that appeal of it. It was more of a thinking movie, more of a, a mind movie, hence the villain, Neo versus the analyst, which was kind of a mind battle instead of a physical battle that Matrix 1, 2 and 3 were with Agent Smith. So in Matrix 5, Matrix 6, I could definitely see the OG action returning, which will be awesome to see. Trinity, Carrie Ann Moss has powers now, so it would be cool to see her explore them. Maybe she's even more powerful than Neo. But again, the two of them need each other for them to be the ones or the one. You know what I mean? They need each other. That love is so strong that they have to be close together for that to work and that's what I think because if you look at the original trilogy now it's really love that drove Neo so so much and then again there's also the storyline with Morpheus where is he right now did he actually die is the games canon because he died in the game so the games must be canon to this film but I would love to see that more explore more of what happened to Lawrence Fishburne as Morpheus definitely either in a spin-off or a prequel or something would be pretty awesome to see so the point is, there's loads to explore for Matrix 5 and 6. Hopefully the films get made with the Wachowskis at the helm. But if they don't return, I don't see Keanu Reeves returning or Carrie Ann Moss at all. I could see Warner Brothers doing a rebooted version of the Matrix. Maybe a sequel, but just new characters, new setting and a new storyline. Which I'll be open to watching, but I would prefer if the Wachowskis were involved big, big time. If The Matrix Resurrections was to happen, I don't think it's going to come out in 2024, probably 2025 or 2026. The reason being is that Warner Brothers have not signed the cast back for the fifth film yet. They have not signed the writers or producers, and most importantly, they haven't signed the Wachowskis. So that means there is no script ready for Matrix 5 yet, so this film is so long away right now and if the Wachowskis don't want to return then Warner Brothers will reboot this franchise with new directors and new cast members because I do not see Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss returning without the Wachowskis at, at all really to be honest with you because they love them so so much and they're like a family but the question is if the Wachowskis, Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss did not return, would you be interested in Matrix 5? Would the Matrix universe lose that something special that it has right now in terms of what the Wachowskis can bring to a fifth film? But maybe you think that this franchise needs new people involved. Somebody else who can bring something different to the Matrix franchise and reboot the interest in this amazing IP. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Really appreciate it. Make sure you give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new Matrix video.